Hi, welcome to Dreamweaver tutorial. Today, I would like to give you a quick tour of floor layout on Dreamweaver CC 2015. On the screen, you will see there's the final products of a floor layout design. On the desktop, you will see four story here, all in one row. And on the tablet view, you will see split into two columns, two rows, and on the mobile, become one column. So on my screen, I have a site called demo and inside there's a CSS folder and image folder. All right, let's open Dreamweaver now. So I'm in Dreamweaver now and I use design workspace and I like to dock my insert panel on the top and collapse this panel. Open your file panel. Make sure you have your site defined properly. Now go to file new. At the end, find Fluid, select, and you can customize yourself and you know, how many percentage that you like. But for now, I'm just going to use the default create. Save the CSS file layout and save. All right, now we have a basic layout here for full layout. So right now you will see four column here, which is in your mobile view. And when you drag it out, and then that is your tablet. Drag it more. Past this breakpoint, you will see there's your desktop. So uh, this is a new user interface for Media Query now. And you will see you have a two medium width Media Query defined here. Now let's take a look about fluid layout structure. So everything have to be inside this grid container div tag. By default, they will give you a div ID one module here, but you don't need to use div tag. You can use a semantic HTML5 tag to define this. When you click on the design view, anywhere outside will be will select entire body tag. If you click on inside, div tag is being selected. So we have to add semantic tag in here. The first one I want to do is header. It's going to be my logo. Make sure it's after. And I'm going to give a class called logo. And make sure your insert as a fluid elements checked. Click. The next one will be my hero. I can use a section or article. So I'm just going to use my section and give it after and give a class hero okay and then the third one will be my nav nav tag so i'm going to just click the navigation here and after class called nav okay so there's a four stories so i'm going to use the article here class called story oh i didn't select after or before after okay this story here i want to drag it to three columns here because they're going to stack four together. Okay, do the footer here, type it footer and select after and done. Okay, I can start to work on my content right now. The first one, I don't need it. I can just use this trash can here, just delete it. And this arrow is which is mean you can swap in the position. Like for instance, if I wanted my nav tag on top of my hero, I can just go top. See, right now my nav, nav bar is right on top of my hero. And if I feel like my hero should be on top, I just, I can keep just swapping. Because the new CC depends on what method they use. Sometimes they don't have a, a design view anymore. So everything is live. It makes it very difficult to work on the content. So the best way is, just open up split view and then work on a code view. So right here on my logo here. So I'm going to put my cursor right in front of this is for logo here and go to my file panel and just drag my logo here. Okay. I'm going to just drag my hero here. Okay. And then I'm just going to drag my story image called ing480 here to my story 
and click away, you see everything is right there now. To prepare images, it depends on where the biggest area you want to cover. The image width have to be greater than module's width. On the screen, I have width 2500 pixel for hero module and 480 pixel for the story because the biggest responsive view is on the mobile view. Now, let's work on the tablet view. On the tablet view, story will take four columns, the code view, and click select parents tag tool to help you select entire module. Then, on the live view, use right handle drag story to column four. Back to my desktop, is, and I'm just gonna duplicate, and then I'm gonna move up. So when you move up here, it create a little uh, margin here, so you have to get rid of this margin here. So when you select the whole tag here, and then you just make the margin go away, and then you can stop duplicate. So the desktop is pretty good. Now go back to just shrink a little bit. You will see your you will see your tablet view. Now on the tablet view, you can just move up here and you see it create a little tiny margin. There's a pen and neck, but you just have to just put it back and then you will you'll be good. Select on on the verbiage. I think it's probably easier. And then just put it back. And then right now you have. This is pretty good. The mobile view and then the tablet view and the desktop view. Okay, so it's pretty good. I'm going to save this. Index again, save. All right, okay, so we don't need this verbiage anymore, so we can just delete this verbiage. Okay, and then the hero doesn't need the verbiage anymore, just delete it. The nav bar because I already have nav nav bar before, so I'm gonna highlight this verbiage. Go to my snippets, my uh, nav bar that I say before. Click on insert. Click on refresh. You will see right here, and then I don't need this deleted. Okay, so refresh. Okay, so put your cursor inside the footer. Insert a horizontal rule here. Just select here. And so make it easier to view. And I'm going to change to copy right. Twenty fifteen, and then find the copyright special character here and just insert. That's it. In this point, you save all. Now I also have a nav bar styles already done here, so I'm going to attach. CSS style, which is my nav bar style, and hit OK, enter. So uh, that they will do it. So if you don't know how to do a nav bar styling, please watch my previous video called "How to Make Navigation Bar." Okay, we almost done. Now you can replace this image in different uh, stories. So just click on the menu here and you see the source here. Select Apple here and click on it. You will appear. So just do that. So save all and preview and you see this is the desktop and then you will the tablet and the mobile will be like this. All right. See you next time.